So you might have heard when people really get into that deep focus state, then you might be looking at those people and say, how do they do it? How do they get into the zone, so to call it? We see athletes do it. We see artists do it. We see scientists do it. And as you were looking around and saying, how can I find this flow for myself? This is something that we're going to talk about in this episode of Learn with Besson, is how can you actually get into the zone and do things while still enjoying it and, and just getting that focus time in as well. And the funny part is that our body is naturally built to reach the state and it's this the zone that I'm talking about. For example, children can get immersed into a fantasy world while playing around, building a universe of creativity and focus without bugging their parents. So Yvonne, tell us a little bit more about that. Hi guys, Elena here from Bestern. If you're enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on weekly new videos that we have coming out on personal and professional development topics. Also feel free to send your questions and engage with us and comment in the YouTube videos in the comment section below. Now back to the episode. So the big question, Elena, is why cannot we adults do it? Yep, adults can also get there and there is even a little bit of science to it. Uh, flow is an optimal psychological state that people experience when engaged in an activity that is challenging to our specific skill level, uh, often resulting in immersion and concentrated focus on a task, a little bit like the children that you just mentioned, Elena. Um, and when I say focus on a task, I mean, I really mean I one task, not many at the same time. Um, while we are in this state, one, we learn better, we get satisfactions, we have this intensity of focus, and we can experience relaxation, especially if the task is challenging. Take a moment of reflection, Elena, and think about it. The best moments in our lives are not this passive, chill out, receptive, relaxing time. The best moments usually occur if, as a person, our body and mind are stretched to its limits in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult, but that is worthwhile. It has purpose. To get into the sun, the tasks need, need then to be challenging. Just a bit above our current level of uh, skills, the task, task needs to have a purpose that we understand why, why we're doing this, and we should be able to decide how to do this task. So the big question comes, how do we know that you, we are in the flow state? It is because we have a complete focus in, on the task. We have goals that are clear. We've, there is kind of time transformation where you don't feel it's time is passing by. The task seem effortless. And there is a good balance of challenge and ability or, or what we can, we can do. So, to enter into the flow state, we need to prepare our brain. <clears throat> so we need to eliminate uh, distractions. So we need to be able to eliminate mental or internal uh, distractions. So when we, you are stressed, it is difficult to get your focus right. And you need to be able to choose a time where you are optimal in energy. It's a little bit like assessing where is your biological peak time where you really can focus. For some people would be early in the morning, for some people would be late in the night, uh, but usually for around 80% of us is in the mornings or just after a nap. And Elena, so, uh, how can yeah. we get rid of these distractions? Yeah, and it's it's um, it's interesting that you talk about some of these things in terms of just like, you know, the preparation, but I also foresee that there are certain distractions, as you just mentioned, you know, and it's maybe it's social media for some people, maybe it's negative thoughts of, oh, gosh, I have to do this, or I can't focus and etc. Right? Maybe it's people around you. So also, I think creating that space to, to not have those distractions is important as well. Maybe it's just feeling stuck. I mean, I don't know about you, but oftentimes when you're just sitting there and you're like, you just can't get started. You exactly. just feel stuck, right? Um, also, when you're burnt out or tired, when you don't get a good sleep, it's very difficult to get in that state. So I think taking care of your mental well-being and just your overall wellness is important as well, right? Um, it could be like an argument you had with, with somebody that 
you know, threw you off for the rest of the day because it just messes with you. You can't possibly focus and be into that flow state and that relaxed kind of creative mode if you're upset about something. So I think that um, these are distractions, definitely something to consider. And again, it's just those small, small things and habits and routines that make a difference. So the question for the audience is, how would you prepare for your next flow state? Awesome.